Um, hello, so continuing on this weekly contest 321, let's do the third problem, remove nodes from linked list. Uh, so what we have with this problem is a, um, a head of a linked list, right? And we want to remove every node uh, which has a node that is strictly greater, which is greater but not equal, uh, anywhere to the right side of it, right? And we want to return the head after removing all of these nodes that have a bigger value to the right. Okay, so if we take a look at this example here, um, well, 5 has 13, which is bigger than it to the right, so we want to remove it. Uh, 2, same thing, 13 is bigger, we want to remove it. Um, 13 doesn't have anything bigger than it, so we leave it. 3 has 8 bigger than it to the right, so we remove it, and so we end up with just 3 and 8. 13 and 8, right? With this, they are all equal, so for each of them, there is nothing greater than it to the right, so we leave it as it is, right? Um, so that's the problem. Now in we have up to 10 to the power of 5 nodes, right? So that kind of constrains it in that we can do any oven squared, but this is a linked list, so it's it's usually not solved with an oven squared, right? So how can we solve it? One thing that is problematic a little bit here is that um, doing it from left to right, which is the only way we can traverse the linked list, is tricky because the information we need to know is whether there is a greater value to the right, right? So um, it, it's it's tricky to do that like this. So, well, what about, let's just reverse it and see. So we can reverse the linked list. Um, we know how to do that. Um, you can take a look at uh, the lead code reverse linked list problem, and I have a video for that. But um, So we, we won't focus on the reversing part, but once we reverse it, then it should be easier to do. Um, it should be easier to just keep track of the max, and any time we find uh, a number that is um, smaller than the max, we remove it, right? Because that's what the problem asks us to do. Um, and then we can, once we remove all of them, in the reverse order, we reverse it back and return it, right? So that should be straightforward a little bit. So let's take a look at an example and see how it works. Um, okay, so let's see how we can do it. So let's take the, so this is the original um, example that we had in the the first example so three eight so first we want to reverse it right so if we do that we end up with eight three um, 13 and then two and then five right um, and now we can just go through it right as like any uh, linked list um, and then keep track of the max so far, right? So that would be, let's call it max so far. So first it's eight, the first value. Um, so there are actually two ways of doing it. One, we can remove it in place, but just to make this super simple, let's first do it with a new, create a new linked list, call it result, right? Um, that we will add only the valid values. And then maybe later we can try to do it with the in place. Um, so res here would be a um, new linked list, right? That will maintain, that will um, keep only valid values. Okay? Um, and so if we do that, then here, um, if the node is bigger or equal, so if the max so far, right? is bigger than, um, is smaller, right, or equal than the value we have, not that val, that means it's a valid value because this is, remember, this is to the right. So if it's smaller or equal, that means there is no number to the right that is bigger than it, right? Okay, so if this is the case, that means this is valid, a valid node, right? So this is a valid node, which means we need to add it to res, right? So uh, let me just continue this example here. So let's copy this one. So if we copy this one here and just have our result, have our result here. Um, by the way, for result, just to be able to um, to have something to point to, we'll initialize it with a dummy node at zero, and then at the end we will remove that dummy node, right? So at the, we initialize it so that it just we won't have something to point to, and then we have the max so far, which is equal to eight, right? Um, so 
when we do this, so f the first node is node .val, so first we are pointing to this and it's equal, so this is good. So we want to add the first value, which is the last value here. We want to add it anyway because there is nothing to the right of it. Okay, so we add 8. And now, um, is the max of R still 8? We move our pointer here. Um, so let me just write the snippet that we will do here. So while node, um, and this is, this is the node we are doing. And if node.val, if max so far is small or equal to node.val, then what do we want to do? Well, we definitely want to update the max so far, right? Because we, find, we found a better value. And we want to add two res, right? So that would be res.next, which is exactly what we did here. It needs to be equal to the list node for this new value, which is uh, node.val. Um, and then we want to move our res pointer so that next time we add the new one here, right? And so to do that, we will do res is equal to res.next. Um, and then the next step, well, we want to, anyway, regardless of max Va uh, so far is small or equal, we want to keep moving in our linked list, right? And so we want to do node equal to node dot next. Okay. Um, and now, so now that we do, um, we, our node is here at three. Um, three is not bigger than max so far, right? So it means that it has something to the right of it that is smaller, to the left of it here that is bigger, sorry, and in the original one to the right of it, right? So we, we want to remove it, so we don't wanna, want to add it to res, and that's exactly what will happen here, right? Um, it's smaller, so max so far is still eight. Now we move to 13. Um, so we compare, it's actually bigger, so no daval is bigger than max so far, so that's, we are here, we enter the, the if check here. Um, so we assign to max so far the new bigger value. Um, and then we point res.next to the new value 13, right? Um, so when we point it, we, our pointer goes back here. We move here to 2, smaller, so we don't enter this. We just move the, the pointer again, 5. Um, 5 is smaller, right? Um, so we don't enter here as well and we don't add it to res and our max so far is still 13 and now res has 8 and 13 and at the end we just want to return so th our result is res.next but we want to reverse it back right because we we did reverse it so we want to just reverse this again and so um, if we do that this is another reverse so that will give us 13 8 and this is our solution. And that's exactly what the initial solution in the example gives us. Um, so that's the overall idea um, using an, another linked list. Now, let me s just quickly cover how to reverse a linked list. I won't explain it in details because there is another video, another problem on how to do it. Please take a look. Uh, but in a, in a nutshell, what we'll do to reverse is just uh, do it sort of recursively, right? So to reverse, let's say maybe 5 to 13, what do we do? Well, we actually just need for each one to keep track of the pre previous value because we will remove this and point this, right? So we'll end up with 13, 2, 5. So for each of them, we need to keep track of the previous value so that we can make it its next, right? And so to do that, we'll do it recursively. Let's call it reverse. Um, we want a node and we want the previous value so that we can make it its next, right? Um, and initially that's just none because the first one needs to have none pointing to none here, right? Um, and so if we are, if we don't have any, we are done, then we just return none, right? That's our base case. Um, but otherwise we want to reverse, uh, call a recurse here. Um, recurse here on reverse but what should we pass we know that the previous is just the one that was before so for the next call the one that was before is node so we definitely know that our prev needs to be node but what should be here well it's the node.next right so for example um, our node is here too right and 
the next one we wanna we wanted to point to node as a prev is the one next to it, so it's node dot next. So we know that here we need to put node dot next, but we also need to point the the next for the current one to the previous. So we definitely want to do node dot next equal to prev here, right? Which is this pointing here to the previous value, right? Um, and this is node dot next, but since we override the node dot next here with prev, we want to actually pass in the we want to save it here in a temporary variable so that we can pass it as the prev for the next one. Right? And that's pretty much it. Uh, by the way, this is outside of the of the if because we already returned here, right? So So here this is stump, right? So we just need to place it so that we can pass it to the next call. Right? So the Again, the main idea is that we have 2, 13. We need to change this link to this link. So we need to make the node.next for this node to be equal to the previous one that we passed in the recursive call, right? But then for the next one, let's say, for example, in 5 and 2, we point 2.next to 5, right? Which is the previous that we get passed in the next call. But then for 13, we want to pass as a pref 2, right? And 13 is not that next because node is pointing to 2, right? I hope that makes sense. Just play with some examples and you will see that this makes sense. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the idea. This is the reverse function and we have our um, the code that we need to do actually to accomplish creating a new result um, linked list here. Um, so let's write this and make sure it passes test cases. Um, okay, so let's write this down here. Um, so the first thing we need to do is uh, just I'll just uh, copy and paste the reverse function that we saw already in the overview. No need to write it again. Um, the same one. Um, and now what we need to do first is reverse. That's what we did in the first call. Um, and then we want to keep track of the max so far. Right, which is head that val. Um, so we keep track of the max so far, and then we um, we want a dummy node, right, for our res, right. So that would be just a dummy list node that is equal to zero, um, right, um, that we want to use at the end. Okay, um, and now we want to go through the reversed list here. So let's just make this, call this node, right? And this would be node.val. So while node, um, if the node value, if the max so far, right, is smaller uh, or equal to the node.val, right? That means this is valid node, right? Because that means there is nothing to the left of it greater than it, right? Which means in the original linked list, there is nothing to the right of it greater than it. Um, so if that's the case, then we want to update the max so far with the new value. In uh, um, and we want to add this to res because, remember, this is a valid node that we don't want to remove. So list node of node.val. And then we want to go to point to the next one. And then here we want to do node equal to node.next. And at the end, now we have in res all the values, except in uh, the values that we need to keep, except in reverse order, right? And so what this would mean here is we want to reverse it and then return the reversed one. Uh, but remember, dummy was just to hold um, the uh, to hold the rest of res. So what we want to do is just dummy the next. That will give us the the right linked list. Um, and that's pretty much it. So let's run this. Let's submit. And that passes test cases. Um, now, in terms of time complexity, we are doing an oven here. Um, and in terms of space, we are also do using oven because of this result array, right? Um, okay, so now let's see if you can do it without um, without an extra list, uh, list uh, linked list here. Um, so we have this node. Um, but let's keep track also of the head pointer 
to use it. Um, still need Mac so far. Um, except here we will remove um, nodes that are not valid, right? Because we want to keep in and keep uh, valid in node uh, in right. Or let's call it head pointer like this, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, so in that case, well, what we want to do here is first change this a little bit and make this if it's bigger because that's this means invalid, right? Note to remove, right? Because there is something to the left in the reverse of length because it is that is bigger. Otherwise, um, this one is bigger, so we want to replace, right? And we want to get rid of this res because we are going to do it for node. Um, now here, what we want to do is actually want to check node dot next just because it's easier to point pointers. So let's check. and we also already filled node dot val in max so far, right? So no need to check it again because the the leftmost in the reversed one is the rightmost, and that one we want to keep it in the result array anyway, right? In the result linked list anyway, right? So here we want to check against node next. Um, and now, if this is the case, then we want node next. We want to remove node dot next, right? So node dot next is invalid, and we want to remove it, right? So to remove it, we just need the node dot next to now point to the one after it, right? That's the only thing we need, right? And this will remove node dot next, right? Because let's say if you have um, maybe something like this, one two, three, and let's say this is node dot next. This is node here. Node is pointing to the one. So node dot next is two. Node dot next, dot next is three. So if we do what we said here, which is node dot next is going to be node dot next dot next, right? That basically means that one dot next is going to be three which means basically it will remove two. So we, this would remove node dot next, which is two. So that's exactly what we are doing here. Okay. Um, okay, so once we remove it, what else do we need to do? Um, we just need here to make, here we don't need to do, um, we don't need to do node dot, this one we don't need to do it for this case here because we, we wanna just go to node dot next dot next and start applying to it so we want node 2.23 and that's that already um that already will happen here uh but for this one we want to do node equal to dot node dot next right because we are keeping the node and so we just want to move the pointer to the next one right um so that's the idea um Sorry, except max so far here needs to be here so that because or we could do node dot next dot val, right? Because it's node dot next dot val that is bigger in this case than max so far that we want to assign it to it. So we can either do it like this or move it down and do node dot val because we already assigned it, right? Um, and now after this we will have removed all the the ones that we want to remove. And so we just want to return. We of course want to reverse because we did it in reverse order. So we want to reverse it back to the original order. And we, we have this head pointer here um, because node moved right in the linked list and it's by, by now at the end. So we want to reverse from the start. So we want to reverse from the, the one we kept in head pointer. Uh, and that's what we want to return. Right? So that's pretty much it. Now let's run this. Let's submit. Uh, sorry, I forgot to remove this one, but still it should be the same thing. It should it should work And that passes this cases um, Yeah, so th this one is a little bit better because we don't have that extra as linked list um, Yeah, so that's pretty much it for this problem. Please like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye